Hi, I'm Trudy Rankin from Online Business Liftoff. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up payment capabilities for specific groups that you have in Circle.so. Now, Circle is a community management tool, and this is a very simple way of making it possible for people to purchase access to parts of what you have available in your community. So let's get started. Here we are in my Online Business Liftoff community. And I'm just going to very quickly show you how to get this set up. So you're going to start by coming over to the top left-hand corner where the little logo is for your community. Click on the down arrow, and then you're going to click on paywalls. Once you've clicked on the paywalls, you'll notice that there's a thing up here just at the top that will say whether you're connected with Stripe or not. Now, I'm already connected with Stripe as my payment gateway. So I don't need to do this again. If you're not connected with Stripe, you will need to do this. And there are instructions for how to do that just here on the circle knowledge base. Here's the URL here that tells you exactly how to do that. So it's help.circle.so forward slash C forward slash paywall set up forward slash how do I set up a paywall? And you can just quickly pull it up on Google and it'll explain how to set up a connection to Stripe so that you can just get people to pay through your community. But coming back here, to set up your own paywall, once you've connected here with Stripe, you want to come over here to New Paywall, and that's on the very right-hand side. You're going to click on that, and now you're going to create your paywall here or your ability for people to pay for access to a specific thing. So the first thing you want to do is what kind of a name are you going to call it? What is the thing that they're purchasing? So I'm going to just say that it's a find an idea mini course, and I'm going to call it the same name for internal purposes so that I know what it is. And if you want to give it a subtitle, you can and just give it, um, I'll just call it find an idea for your online business. And you set your currency to want it. It's got a few different ones there. We'll just leave it in USD for now. And then down here, you can see that there is a URL, a checkout URL. You can tweak the end of it to be whatever it is you want to be, but you want it to be easily recognizable as the, the tiered part that you want people to have access to. Then you give it a description. It is optional to give it a description, but it's always a good idea. And once again, I'll just say learn how to find an idea for a really fun online business that you'll still love in 10 years. Okay, and then we're going to click next. Now, this is where you can decide what you want to charge. You can choose to set it up as being a monthly, annual, quarterly, however often you want it to happen, or you can make it a one-time fee. So right now, I'm just going to set it as a one-time fee, and I'm going to set it just for purposes of this description as being $10. Now, just realize that you do have to put the 10 and then the 0 .00 in, otherwise it's going to just charge 10 cents instead of the $10. Then you do have to click over here. You have to click add price. And you can see that it pops up down here. And if it's not quite right, you can go to these three little dots, click on it, and you can either remove it and start again. There's no way to edit it. Or you can make it your preferred one. You do have the ability to turn it into something that can be upgradable, or you can offer a free trial. It's just up to you how you want to organize it. Then you're going to click next. And you're going to determine what people can access once they've paid. Now, if this is one of your high priced offerings and they get access to everything, you can actually unlock all the spaces without having to go through a long process. And if you don't want to unlock all the spaces, you can either give them access to a space group, which is a grouping of things that they can get access to all of those things, or you can just give them access to specific spaces. So for example, I'll just type in beginner academy here and we'll just pop that in there. I could give them access to more than that. I could give them access to community support if I chose. 
and whatever it is that you want to give them access to, they get access to those specific things. And you click next. Now you can choose to either send them directly to a URL or you can send them to a thank you page and send them an email that tells them what they have access to and how to get it. And however you want to set that up, you just set it up so that it suits the way you've got your funnel working. And you click next. And then if you want to put in conversion tracking here, you can. I'll just click on this little question mark here. It shows you that basically it's where you put your JavaScript snippets of code from Google Analytics so that it's tracking it and basically treating it as a conversion. It'll show up in your analytics. I'm not going to do that right now just for purposes of demonstrating what to do. And you click on publish and you can see that it's come up as a basically a selection here. Find an idea mini course. You can choose to edit it if you want to go like that. You just click on that and you just scroll down and then you can just come up with the URL. I'll just copy the URL. I'm just going to save that again and then I'll just pop it up here and just show you what it looks like. And this is what people see when you send them to this page to purchase this particular grouping of things inside your community. So hope that's helpful. Give me a shout out in the comments below if you'd like some more information. And I hope that's really, really helpful. All the best.